Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to the workshop. Appreciate everybody joining me today. I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, so today I want to revisit the air compressor project. I haven't made any videos in a while. Life has kind of gotten in the way, got tons of stuff going on. Um, but I've gotten quite a few good comments on the air compressor. So we're going to work on that a little bit today. Try to get a couple things fixed if I can. And see how it goes so i really have no idea where my brain was the day that i was looking at this but after some of the comments i looked back through the uh, user's manual and i swear that whenever i made the decision on how to which direction that the pump pulley needs to rotate i swear there was a diagram i looked at so this is the only one that i can find and man i must have been having one heck of a day but it this absolutely says nothing about which direction to turn. This is a dimension diagram. But here in this paragraph right here, it says that the pump pulley, when facing it, has to turn counterclockwise, which I set up completely different. I set it up to turn clockwise, which in turn, as some of the comments said, blows. There's the, the, the fins on the pulley are a fan, and it pulls air across instead of blowing air onto it. So that needs to be fixed. I also obtained a couple new pulleys, which this pulley here on the motor needs to be a little bit bigger. So my brother-in-law graciously donated a couple bigger pulleys. So today, uh, thank you very much, um, by the way. And today we are going to try to get the motor turning the opposite direction. I've got an idea for an easy fix on that. And then I'd like to replace that pulley on that motor and we'll see what happens. So a couple things, one in being that the, there is a oil relief, uh, that's leaking air. People saying that if I turn it the opposite direction, it won't do that. We'll see what happens. Uh, but also another uh, comment said that the spinning of this direction moves the pistons inside in a certain way that splashes the oil in the direction that it's supposed to to help the motor stay cool i have no way to determine whether that is accurate or not but we shall see in the long run unless i tore it apart i have really have no way to know i also had somebody comment that i need to put a check valve into the tank that might help prevent back pressure once it fills up to keep the air from leaking We'll take that step if we have to, if this correction that we're getting ready to do doesn't work. But for what it's worth, it, it pumps air right now. I don't use it a lot. I haven't had a lot of jobs of uh, recent. I've been so busy doing other stuff. But it, it works. It just leaks air. But I'm once again, I might be doing damage to the pump at the same time. So let's try to get the motor direction changed. And if the pulley on, I might have to get a different belt. So we'll see how that goes. Sorry I didn't record this up close, but basically all I'm doing here is unbundling all the wire bundles that are connected um, at this time. There are seven wires in this wiring box. The two wires from the electric 240, the two poles, and then the five wires from the motor. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but... Um... The way I had it wired before, I had it wired for counterclockwise, but due to the orientation of how I have the motor sitting, um, this was spinning the wrong direction for the, the pump. So I have to, CW is clockwise, CCW is counterclockwise. So now I rewired it for clockwise, um, which 
will make my pump spin the other direction but because of the way my motor is sitting um, is the right direction for what I'm getting ready to do so one of my poles is bundled with T4 T8 other pole is bundled with P1 and then I have T1 and T5 tied together Contact. if you can see it or not that light might be a little bit too bright but in the process of kind of getting in here and looking at some stuff I've got some oil leakage not enough to drip down lower but there is some build up here along the edge not sure where it's come from I've looked it over pretty good so I'm not sure if that is um, Maybe I need to check that drain plug, make sure it's tight. Maybe that's a fault of this thing spinning backwards also. We'll see. Just need to keep an eye on that oil. Hopefully I didn't do any damage to anything. We'll see. I'm gonna pump it up, get it up to pressure and see if the air leaks and then we'll work on switching out this pulley. All right, so we're up to pressure. Spinning the appropriate direction. We're still leaking air. Still leaking air from the oil breather. So maybe a check valve on the inlet of the tank back there wouldn't be a bad idea, but at least this is spinning the right direction. It's blowing air across the pump now. And I know there was one comment about how this should be on the back side, probably for safety, um, but day late and a dollar short on this one. Not changing that because I'd have to redo all my mounts and stuff. It will work. I'll just have to build a cage eventually to protect it. So, still need to get a check valve. We'll do that later, but I'm gonna try to see if I can get the new pulley on and measure for a belt. You watch the pulley wheel here on the pump the back pressure from the tank is actually rotating the wheel backwards definitely going to need to get a valve 
on the back of that tank. Let's give it a go. Well, it's got to get down to pressure first. Let's try that again. Let's give it a go. So that was from 80 up to 140. I hadn't noticed this before. Pressure is actually trying to spin the wheel back. All right. I'll run it a few times today, see how it goes. Keep an eye on oil leaks. Try to find maybe a check valve for the tank inlet and see if that helps that uh, oil breather. I can see oil leaking from that nut there. Maybe I'll try to tighten it. So the manual says to determine the uh, motor pulley diameter, you have to do the equation of the pump pulley diameter, which is 12.5 times the rated pump RPMs, which is 1050, which is equal to 13125. Divide that by the motor uh, RPM. So the motor that I have, the RPM is uh, 3600. So you do that math and it comes out to about 3.6 inches. And um, that's kind of a pretty uh, difficult pulley size exactly to get. So the pulley that I have now is a, close to a four. Um, so hopefully that will increase the um, SCFMs a little bit. And I need to get that check valve. I'm gonna run this a little bit today, see how it goes and um, go from there. Appreciate you guys watching. At least I got a couple things fixed on that air compressor. Hopefully it'll work a little bit better and um, hopefully spinning that uh, thing the opposite direction will keep the motor from uh, overheating or hopefully I didn't run it. But um, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching as always um, with making these videos. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I need subscribers uh, to continue to make videos. Um, give me a thumbs up if you would. Leave a comment. The last video I did on this had quite a few good comments. Um, I appreciate that a lot and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.